Okay, scientifically, um, of course, ideally, he should have demonstrated in his PhD thesis that he is a creative, independent researcher who can be thoroughly engaged in a research subject and learn something new. Um, then, when he comes to the group, he should be enthusiastic about the research project. And ideally, that research project sort of strikes a balance between his previous knowledge and that he learned something new. And this is quite reciprocal because uh, the group and I, of course, benefit from the knowledge the new postdoc brings into the group, and we are all happy to learn from him. Apart from this sort of scientific proficiency, where he demonstrates that he is creative and independent, there are, of course, also other um, more soft skills which are important. So um, he should be a good team player who integrates into the groups, who shares his knowledge. Um, somebody who um, can also contribute to supervising students on the bachelor, master or PhD level. And also responsibility is a big factor here. So he should be able to be responsible for his own project. But he also could take sort of small other tasks like um, writing applications for CPU time in, in our case, for example. And that also relates to sort of the broader skills of a postdoc. So later on, uh, he will either continue in academia or in industry. And to this, of course, it's important that he can enthusiastically explain his research, that he communicates well, both with experts in the field, but also colleagues in different disciplines or industrial partners. And, of course, also importantly, he can explain his research um, to funding agencies.